Today we are cleaning my little lean-to here. I'm going to dig out this loam and put gravel back in. Got this one here pretty well done. I got a couple more scoops over in the corner where the ladder is. But I just hung up my UD9 side panels and radiator shutter. The UD9's junk's got a rod up to the block, but I couldn't see throwing that stuff away. So uh, anyway, I'm cleaning here. Got to put some stuff in the shop. That lubrication bucket's going to go in the shop. I'm going to clean that and use it because it's a good quality one. It's got rollers on the bottom. It's only been in here since uh, early this spring, believe it or not. But it's soaked, it's sunk right in the ground. That's why stuff is around here if you don't put gravel in. And next I'm going to move this grinder out of here. This is a knife grinder for planer blades. And it's all there. Everything except for the water pump. There's supposed to be a water pump. And the water pump is missing, but shouldn't be too hard to come up with a small water pump. And I guess the guy could grind dry if he wanted, but it heats the blade. That's the only problem. <clears throat> but it's kind of a neat apparatus. Everything seems to be here. There is something missing there. I believe it's a friction clutch. Um, yeah, but anyway, we made it go back and forth up at the fair. I don't remember exactly what the secret was. I guess it was this here. Yeah, that engages it. But anyway, it was kind of stiff and it didn't work that great because it needs to be put in where it's dry. And, and I got that nice water pump. That's an odd water pump. Um, it's made by Swabby Manufacturing Company. And anyway, yeah, it's a two inch discharge. Kind of a nice little piece friend of mine gave it to me so and that's my spare glass for the square body over there that old lady Chevy sets in front of the shovel so I got to get that out before long because I got to put that in the truck but anyway we're cleaning all this stuff out of here tonight um, it's after supper I don't care if I get it all done but I'm gonna work on it for another hour we'll see what we get done Got to tell you a funny story about this whole four-speed transmission here. Back when I was young, I used to pick them right up, go right under the truck, lay them on your chest, and push them in. Okay, so now I do well to drag it. Of course, there's a difference between 30 years old and 60, I guess, but it still bewilders me to think when I grab a hold of that and start pulling it around. I think I used to throw that around like I did. Ain't no one of my back's all frigged up. But anyway, yeah, it's amazing how much strength you lose as you get older. Well, I didn't get pictures of me digging it out, but we got it dug out all the way down to this last bay. And you can see why I want to put stone in here. This stuff just grows every manner of vegetation you can imagine. And uh, gonna try to stop that. Although, I don't know what killed the uh, vegetation in the other building. It always did have those vines growing up. And this year, they're not growing. So, that's kind of a nice thing. I don't know if the heat got to them or the cold. Or it could just be too dry. Who knows? Because it is dry. <clears throat> of course, there's a lot of moisture in the ground. But, I think my first truck is here. Maybe not. Well, they brought the stone, and as you can see, I didn't get it all done. But, I've had the little guy going. It's a little slow, but I actually wanted about four or five inches below the metal. So I'm pretty close. i got to shovel some stuff in there. I'll get that tomorrow or the next day. Um, I'm pretty close on material here. I don't know if by the time I compact it, if i got quite enough to do these two bays or not, but... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to uh, probably clean that last bay out, get a couple more loads, and I can get it finished. But it's coming good. Um, yeah, I'm planning on keeping this about four or five inches below the metal, and I'm going to 
run a layer of concrete in here once I get it compacted. I'll have to get a compactor. And I didn't take any videos, of course, doing this because I was in a hurry trying to get stuff done. It's after lunch now. It's actually quarter after 12, and I haven't even had lunch yet. So, But I'm going on a little road trip. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going. There's a lot of time people like the privacy, but um, I have agreed to purchase a few shop tools, I'm going to call them. We'll see what I get on the truck today, and I'll show you this evening when I get back. Well, this is the piece of machinery I went after. It's an actual honing machine, one that you can set the travel and everything. And I was working for the guy when he bought it brand new, so I know the history of it. And, you know, pretty nice machine. So that four there, we got... Uh, only about three quarters of an inch before you get into the webbing at the bottom of the cylinders. It's very, very close down there. Makes it very difficult to hone by hand. So I opted to just hold off. I got that. Got a few more pieces of machinery. Got to go get this next week. And uh, this was bought at the same time as that honing machine was so that's what happened today so i'm gonna call it a day it's almost eight o'clock and uh anyway wasn't much of a video but a little menagerie of everything so anyway that's what i've been up to hope you enjoyed don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one